Right. Um, uh, Johnny. You know, I, you know, I don't really have one, but mine is a little, I guess a little negative is, you know, I've, um, I have like six credits on, on audio, on audible audio books. And man, I swear to you, um, I don't really find the books very good. And I, you know, like I just tried to listen to a few hours of a book called the lean startup. Um, and it was, it was, it was a bestseller and, and it was just stuff that I already knew. So, uh, I guess my only resource is, uh, is this time I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm disappointed with, with audiobooks. No, no, with audible audiobooks. Oh, I can, I can recommend the ones that I thought were good, but you, you may already, that's the thing. It's like, I will buy like, you know, new system to assess clients, you know, in ten and five DVDs and and a hundred page PDF, all for ninety nine dollars. I'm like, okay, well, that's a good resource to have. Maybe I'll I'll buy it. And I buy it. And I'm like, and again, this is what we were going back to before. I, I could have wrote this, not just wrote this, but wrote it ten times better. And I have okay. it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So hang on. Back and this up. guy just took ninety nine dollars <laughs> of my money, and I could have been selling it. Okay. Um, back up. I'm going to go on a tangent, but I'm going to throw this out. Grant Cardone. Um, you guys know who he is? Yeah. Eric Thomas met him, yada, yada. He, I listened to him and he said, oh yeah, this book, the 10 X, you know, you read this and, and it's going to boom. And I read it. I spent like two days, like I took off work two days and read it and it wasn't that great. And then he also had like this other thing. It was like $3,000. To, to it's kind of like his own university where he had all these videos and stuff and I did a free trial for 24 hours and I was like this sucks if I would have paid $2,500 for this I would have been so pissed off and since then I I, I, I you know I, I've really been real critical of, of people that talk up their system and, and I'll, I'll say it too um, uh, and I probably shouldn't but I know Eric talks about how great his books are. I read his first book, and I don't know. I, I really didn't come away with anything from it. So, anyways, that's my, well, that's that's, my rant. Well, that's the thing. I, uh, I'm like. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a book. For this $30. Is, this is a book. Wow. That's thin. That's his latest book. You know, and it's like, you get this, it's going to change your life, and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay. That came with my membership when I first joined, so I was like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> um, if I had, like, ordered that and that showed up, I would have been pissed. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, okay, so I, I agree with Johnny on this. It's like, I've got about... 20 books on my Kindle, which that's what I usually, will, you know, I'll buy them if I know I have to kind of sit and read. I won't listen to them on audio. But usually it's one really good idea that may last one to two chapters, and then the rest of the book is just nothing, you know? It's like it's one good idea. It's like Grant Cardone, you know, do, like if you're going to do something, and again, it goes back to the samurai thing, just, if you're going to do it, just go for it. Like, you're dead already, go for it. Do it ten times more. Okay, that's the only thing that really resonates in that book. Like, I got into the second chapter, and it was just like, yada, 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 yada. You know? And it's like, I'll get that from a lot of the books that I'm reading. It's like, it's one good idea, and then they try and make an entire book about it. So in certain aspects, I get this. Because maybe it was just a few good ideas, and that's all he was going to write. The only one that's different is Stephen Pressfield. Stephen Pressfield writes like, like that. Like, I've got three good ideas. My, here's my book. It's only five ninety five, mm. but it's, it's really good. And he's like, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to fill out a huge book about crap. Like, I have five really good ideas I, I want to get to you, and this is how big my book is. And it's like if you want it, it's five ninety five. It's not nineteen ninety five. It's twenty nine ninety five. You know, and he does, and he says it like it is. That's why I like to to read his stuff too, because it's 
it's no fluff. It's like, this is it. Read 25 pages. That's what I have to say. I'm done. Graham, so comment. I was thinking about everything that Rudy's just said today, actually. And we'll get to that in the what I've been doing over the last week section. Um, so I've, I was just going through all of those things that he was um, he was talking about, and um, all of them. I mean, it's just it's, it's like you were reading my mind, <laughs> basically. So uh, I don't have anything else and, to add to that at fast, the moment. Just in, in my resources, is that fortunately I, I have an Audible membership, and, and I mean I'm sure they're going to cut me off one of these days, but the, but you can return any book. Uh, no questions asked, and so I, I, I probably returned two out of three books that, that I, I listened to them. I'm yeah, done, thank yeah. you. Yeah, well, it's all digital, eh? I don't think they're going to they're gonna care one way or the other. Yeah, so I'm sorry, so, Graham, go ahead. Yeah. Um, audiobooks is one of my future mm -hmm. projects. I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. Data collected on that project already. A um, couple of little points related to what you said before I get to resources. Um, I was going through a lot of uh, the Lewis House podcasts and uh, it's, everyone's got a book. Oh, I've just finished my book. My new book is out. Everyone's, everyone's, everyone's got a book. It's like, what? Um, it seems to be something that you have to do. I don't get it how all of the books can be best sellers and I definitely and I definitely don't get it how a new book can be a best seller that blows my mind how can a new book be a best seller that must all be bull it must all be bull you can't have a new book as a best seller because it's a new book no one's got it, it yet it, well, first of all, you know, like you walk into really a... accuse anybody of committing fraud as far as advertising that, but it's all just marketing. It it could be the best-selling pre-ordered book on May 31st uh, between 12 p.m. and 3 you know a.m. <laughs> you know, bestseller, the bestseller on Amazon from midnight to 3 a.m. in the morning. You know, on March 7th. You know. Uh, yeah, amongst exactly. people aged and who's gonna, 70 to and they're not lying, like you know, because if, if it says on the New York Times bestseller list for five weeks, well, okay, well that's, I guess, I think that would be pretty legitimate, but if it just says bestseller, it's like based on what, you know, you've got to see where it's coming from. Yeah, and the, the other thing that um, crossed my mind recently was that, um, what I got from our parent organization, our original parent organization, was not resources, but pe people. And I'm not saying that people are resources. What I'm saying is that it seems to me that, 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 that what I'm looking for more is contact with people than it is specific resources. Um, and that's a realization that, I, that I've had recently, that I'm not looking for specific content. What I'm looking for is uh, people that I can share ideas with and people whose ideas I can listen to as well. And something that resonates with me, which is not resources, it's people, um, which are, which are now, far me, more important in that my opinion. Quick, I, like I said, uh, I was talking to Matt yesterday and and I was saying that I talked to you guys, and he knows Johnny, because I referred him to Johnny for some financial stuff. He's like, Graham, Graham, I don't think I know Graham. Does he post? I'm like, well, he would post, but he wasn't getting a lot of interplay, or people weren't soliciting you know, his ideas as far as gathering things that he wanted. He's like, oh, I, I just don't remember. Like, he's the one that did the, the notes for the podcast. Oh, okay, now I know who he is. So I, I think Graham will always be known and be you as the, the note taker. Uh, I don't know if that will continue because he didn't give give them everything in in words. 